What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, this is part three of our 904 Trans Rebuild series here. Uh, today I wanted to tackle getting these clutch packs assembled. I had ordered the parts through Cope and they came in pretty quick, less than a week. So right now I got, I've had the clutches and bands soaking in transmission fluid for a little while and I got the steels over there. Got a nice good goodie box. It's full of uh, little billet pieces, servos, accumulators, uh, band strut, second gear lever. So got a bunch of cool stuff going in this trans. Uh, it should be a pretty stout little unit, uh, more than what I'm going to need for this engine, but uh, it'll give me some growing room. So today just wanted to get these uh, clutch packs put together here and uh, get it ready for that final assembly. So trying to keep these videos too not beating too long so let's get on these clutch packs all right first we're going to take care of this uh forward clutch uh it's the clutch pack for all forward gears as the input shaft goes through it there it's attached with a snap ring so got the piston here want to get the rubber sealing rings off of here And there's one on the inside. There's the new one from the kit. I usually like to get a little bit of Vaseline on oh, that helps it go in there better make sure you put the new one back in exactly how the old one came out or your ceiling ring will be upside down Make sure it's fully seated in the groove the whole way around. That looks good. Maybe a little dab of trans fluid. Want to make sure you're actually putting the correct correct ring on the correct piston because they are different from the forward to the direct clutch pack. Okay, just do not nick your seal and keep it lubed. Go ahead and install that. If you have one of these, it's a little lip seal tool it's very handy getting these things started sometimes they can be a real pain you definitely do not want to roll the seal installing it use this thin little plastic sheet here and just works that lip down in
All right. Sometimes it takes a little patience and a little finesse. You want to make sure it slides nice and smooth like that. Some seals are more, uh, a little more difficult than others. I'm going to put the Belleville spring back in there. That should be a wavy snap ring in the bottom. It's like a tapered, thick uh, steel. I don't know if it's called a reaction plate or what exactly it is. Actually, I'm gonna get some trans fluid on that. And I didn't mention, you do wanna make sure this is completely cleaned out, brake clean, blowed out with compressed air. Make sure it's super clean before you start putting this back together. Okay, so we got that in there now. You gotta start stacking clutches. These are the Ray Bestest Reds. And we got Colleen Steels. So you wanna alternate clutch steel, clutch steel. Got that thick plate at the top. Last thing to do is put the snapper in one. I like having the gap right at one of these lug ends here. I like having pretty much this whole snap ring end. There, like that. So it's none just sticking out in the open, that open area. All right, there's the forward clutch put together. All right, next up is the direct clutch pack. This is the one for third and reverse. Get this sealing ring off, it's lip seal. Okay, the other sealing ring, instead of being on the piston, is actually down inside the drum here in this groove.
Okay, that part's pretty critical. Obviously, everything's really critical, but it's kind of hard to tell with this seal. You just want to make sure that lip is facing down and the seal is seated in that groove. Uh, if it's not, and you don't have good sealing there. Uh, third gear clutch pack will have fluid pressure leakage and uh, third gear will slip. Okay, get a little Vaseline in here. Get some around the inside here. Already got the lip seal pre-lubed. All right, this one, you usually you can just kind of rock it in. Okay, that's good. Gonna install the spring and retainer here using the tool I'd previously used in, I don't know, part two maybe. All right, we're gonna start stacking these clutches and steels in this one. The steels start on the bottom on this one because there is no thick steel plate. It's just the piston. And this will be getting five clutches and five steels. They are the thin clutches. This clutch pack originally had four, but it will be getting five now. That gives it extra holding power. guys I'm gonna wrap that up here uh, there's one last thing I wanted to mention once you build these clutch packs you will want to measure the clutch pack clearance uh, with the feeler gauge uh, on mine I got 30 thousandths on the forward and 81 on the direct uh, if they are not within spec you will have to get a kit it's a, sna a, a selective snap ring kit to adjust that clearance there is specs that have to be followed uh, the direct clutch pack that third gear one is it's about 15 to 30 thousandths per clutch i was at 81 so i'm kind of close to that tighter tighter end and your uh, all four gear clutch pack total clearance is 32 to 55 so I'm just a little bit tighter than that which that's okay because 
it's being used anytime you're going forward. So, all right, guys, uh, I'll catch you next time on the next installment.